it's currently live right now. It's on. Is it? I'm letting you know that the, my video is live right now. It's on. And then maybe I'll, I don't think anyone's there yet, but I'm going to... I don't think it, oh, hi. So for whoever's here, I'm not quite ready. I'm running really late. So I just, I'm starting it at 1.30, but I will be, be right back like in like five to 10 minutes. So I'm sorry. I'm just running a little late today. So hang on if you can, chat amongst yourselves. Thank you. Whoever's here. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Um, I wasn't quite ready, but I have my blanket. 
How are you guys doing? It actually warmed up. The sun's out today. It was a little gloomy this morning, so it's like, I'll just do my video in a blanket um, because I'm really feeling the blanket action right now. Hi, Raleigh. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> hi, Zach. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Um, a lot is happening in my personal life that I can't really get into right now, but um, a lot of change. It's... Um, exciting but nerve-wracking so i will hopefully be able to share that with you guys about a month from now we'll see i really don't know where i'm headed but my family and i are well and um yeah i've got some new bug bites that are pretty intense so i don't know what's going on with that you can tell this here is red and swollen so just to compare what my hand normally looks like you do my nails I'm a busy mom, so I'm kind of a mess, but hey, here I am. <laughs> um, how are you doing, Zach? Uh, drop us a line. <sighs> I'm going to catch my breath here. Um, today, I don't really have a plan. Usually, I try to at least like keep things flowing, have something to talk about in case no one stops by. Hey, Donovan. Ooh, new video. Yeah, thanks for all the support, and thanks for popping by to say hi. I don't know if you got a chance to watch, but I did do the City Walk uh, video. Universal City Walk, which was, I was a little disoriented because I, I haven't been there in like probably over a decade. It's just been a really long time and I don't really know my way around and I was vlogging. So I, I watched the playback and I'm like, you just seem a little bit like, I was adjusting to like wearing a mask. It's, it's interesting. It was a lot of things happening at once, but I had so much fun. Zach says, I'm doing well today, rocking a ponytail with my hair and all that awesome. Nice. I'm guessing you're referring to the bandana. Um, whenever I can, I like to wear a bandana too because it's like not as constricting as like a mask that's like, you know, kind of really pulling on your face. Um, Donovan said, I didn't get to watch the last vid. No worries. I have to tell you, Donovan, that there's this whole section towards the end about the city walk um, where it's all this Hogwarts Harry Potter merchandise and I had never seen that before at the Universal Studio store and I was really impressed with all the stuff they had so um, I added chapters to that video so if you guys want to just go to certain places maybe you just want to see the Simpsons stuff yeah so you could check it out you don't have to watch the whole video you could just like click on a chapter and you know watch whatever it is you want to check out so Donovan says, I like Harry Potter. Yeah, I really love the Harry Potter series. Um, I first started reading them um, when I was, I guess, in college, and um, I got into them. I haven't read all of the books. I feel like I read the first four, maybe five. I, I don't, I can't even tell you if there's six or seven. I don't, I don't know. I think there's six, right? Zach says, I like that bandana look with one of my bandanas. Yeah, I like the bandana too. And like, I guess it's, um, to me, I kind of like it because it reminds me of like the old west of California. Um, you know, the cowboys. I'm blinking. What did I tell you, Jesse? When the, uh, the something, a wild rag. That's what they call it. So the, the cowboys, when they wear them, because they've been doing that for years, right? Since probably like the 1850s or so. Um, they call it a cowboy rag. It was to keep the dust out of their face, you know, because you're riding on the, the dusty plains and on a horse or something, and it's a way to, like, protect yourself. And um, there's actually stores that sell wild rags online, and I guess they're a lot bigger than your traditional bandana. So if you're I – might, I might look into that. It's really more of a masculine look, but um, now we all have to wear – you know, wild rags right now, so especially here in California and um, Los Angeles. Uh, I've also seen really pretty scarves that women wear that go around their ears, and they're made to be a mask, but they hang, and they're very lovely prints. Um, I think you can get those online pretty inexpensive. Whoa. That's another option. Um, but now I feel like I have so many different masks. I feel like I could just make a video of all the different Whoa. masks and, like, how I wear them and when I wear them and... Um, who knew? You're talking about mask. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what else is there? I haven't even lost my first tooth yet. This is Raleigh, my daughter. She hasn't even lost her first tooth. Yeah. Yeah. I bet it happens this year. I feel like it's going to happen this year. 
Yeah. She would have been going into kindergarten, but we'll be home. And I'm uh, on kid YouTube, and it's a girl, and it's Diana's friend, and she ate an apple, and she and she and her tube came out. Oh yeah, <laughs> that can happen. Something yeah. hard like an apple can take that tooth right out. Yep. <laughs> Do you feel like any of your teeth are loose? Do they wiggle? Nope. No, they're solid. They're in there. Zach says, hi there. Thanks for joining us and thanks for finding my channel, Zach. I really appreciate it. Um, I do a live video, just pretty kick back, laid back on Thursdays at 1.30. And it's just a chance for me to like talk to everybody and chat. Hi, my mom says, hi, Raleigh. Hi, hi Raleigh. Yeah, we're celebrating Raleigh's birthday tomorrow. She is going Wait, to be turning tomorrow? five on Wednesday. Yeah, celebrating five o'clock. Yeah, here at the house, it's going to be a lot different than it was last year, huh? Wait, we're going to do my last birthday year, tomorrow? Yeah, at five o'clock. Wait, my birthday tomorrow? Wait, just a sec. Donovan says, when I first lost my first tooth, I was in TK. Yeah, Donovan, so was my uh, son, Declan. And um, I think you guys lost it the same year. That's why I think it's going to be this year because she is turning five. And I feel like that's a pretty, everybody loses their teeth at different I'm times. I'm having a Rapunzel birthday. Yeah. Donovan says, I know. Yeah. I'm I know. You guys Rapunzel almost have birthday. all your grown up teeth now. I'm having a Rapunzel Rapun birthday. What are the colors? Purple and yellow. Yeah, Donovan says we did lose it in the same year. Donovan is one of my um, son, Declan, who is turning eight in August. It, Donovan's one of his closest friends, and I really appreciate you coming by, Donovan. Yeah, so her colors are yellow and purple for Rapunzel. We're going to have balloons. Yeah, because her dress is purple and her hair is yellow. Yeah, yeah, yellow for her golden hair and maybe the lanterns, if you guys have seen the movie. So I'm going to start my video, Raleigh, so say bye. Okay, um, oh, so thank you to everyone that came by. Thank you to everyone that watches the playback on these videos. Seriously, Gaga my, says bye. My birthday is tomorrow. No, your birthday is technically Wednesday, but that's the middle of the week, so we wanted to celebrate it this weekend. Um, Zach says, well, to be honest, I was looking for ways to wear a mask with my bandana and saw one of your videos to get ideas of how to wear it. Yeah, so I actually was doing the same thing and that's why I made that video. I was doing the same thing and I found one video that took you through different ways of tying a bandana and I really liked it, but it was in Hindi. So then it, that's when it occurred to me, I'm, I said to myself, I just thought, sorry, my daughter is distracting me. I was thinking um, I could make this video in English and it might be helpful to a lot of people. So that's what I did and it seems like it's been helpful uh, Donovan, yeah, me and Declan almost have the same birthday. I know, Donovan. I didn't get to read the whole thing, but but Donovan and my um, son, their birthday is just like a few days apart. My son's birthday is the 26th. And Donovan, I feel like yours is the 28th or maybe the 30th. I can't remember the exact date, but I know you guys are super close. Um, I was hoping maybe you guys could do something together, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. My kids have not seen their friends since March since their last days in school. So the 30th, that's, that's right. Um, so it's been, it's been challenging, but we're coping and doing pretty well as a family hanging out. We've been able to get out. In fact, this weekend we're going with my mom to um, Knott's Berry Farm. I'm so excited. They opened up Old Town and um, they have something called the Taste of Calico. So we're going on Saturday. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to make a live video because right now, because of all the personal stuff going on in my life, I am not able to edit. So I found it really helpful to make live videos so that way I keep getting videos to you guys. I don't just disappear, but I'd like to get back to editing. So I'm debating whether I'm going to make a live video from Knott's Berry Farm on Saturday evening. Uh, the event is from 4 to 10 and I heard that it's sold out and they're adding days. So it's, I haven't gone to the website. I don't know if you guys can hear that helicopter pause. Yeah, the video's done. It's not done. No, it's just getting started. I usually do these videos for about an hour. Well, I was having you say goodbye because I want to um, talk, talk like adult to adult. This is a kid video. So my 
My daughter, it's boring. My daughter loves making videos, and so those are like for kids, so I mark them for kids, and she has her own playlist, and so does my son. I know it's crazy because... Wait, careful. Some kid videos, well, my kid videos are on YouTube. That's regular YouTube. Regular and, YouTube. And that's... That's right. We're not on YouTube. kids' YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we didn't know how. Well, it's not that I don't know how. It's just we used to have videos on kids' YouTube. So for whatever reason, certain videos um, were considered kid videos uh, before all this happened with the COPA lawsuit and everything. So we did have a few um, like Chuck E. Cheese videos and things like that on kids' YouTube. I have no idea how YouTube decided yes. what videos to put on kids' YouTube. But now I think they're, someone says, well, I hope you have a great afternoon and nice to see your video again. Thank you, Zach. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you again. Um, you have a good afternoon too. What? Zach's videos will be smart. I don't know if you guys can hear her. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, so someone's, oh, Donovan, I missed your comment because I was listening to Raleigh. Yeah, yeah, no, so she's saying some kid videos are on regular YouTube. So, Raleigh, those kids have to be over 12, I think, is the cutoff for uh, regular YouTube. So, it's a little bit tricky to navigate, but we're figuring it out. Yeah, you're only four going on five. So, every time Raleigh or my son Declan make a video, I'm just going to see you guys don't have to see the TV like flashing in the background because she's probably going to watch some television. Yeah, actually, I have no idea what the frame is, you guys. I don't know why. It's like what I see is different from what you see. It's, it's slightly different. So, I don't know. I think that works. Can you guys see the top of my head? I can't, but I feel like you can. Um, whew. Well, it was a cool day. I was wrapped in a blanket this morning when I decided that I would do that still um, as like a cloudy days uh, are days for being wrapped in a blanket. However, now it's warmed up. So now I'm just sitting on my blanket and drinking some water because <sighs> a lot is happening. So hydration is a good thing. Um, hmm. Oh, I was trying to think of what I was talking about before. So not Sperry Farm, we're super excited about this development. It's called The Taste of Calico, and basically it's like a food and drink festival. And um, you go in and they limit the number of people so it's not crowded, and they've opened all of Old Town. So there's no rides, but they have um, a look and see. I think we're, I don't know what they're officially called, but. There are a bunch of buildings that are staged like they're in from the old west and you look in and the characters there's mannequins set in their positions and staged so you feel like what it would be like to be in the old west of california so i'm really looking forward to that i hope the kids enjoy it like my mom and i love and jesse my husband we love all this history and like fun things that were it's like imagining what would it be like to be in the old west my kids find it to be boring, I think, because it just, it's like not relevant to the things they're excited about right now. And I remember feeling that way as a kid. Like I wasn't, I wanted, I wanted things that were contemporary. My brother, David, he loved like all the Old West. My mom's like, thumbs up. So we'll probably enjoy it and our kids will be like, this is boring, but I hope they enjoy it. And I hope they appreciate all these things we like take them to. Mom, I know I appreciate all the things you did with us. We did tons of road trips across the country and saw so many historical sites. And I really think that helped shape who I am today and like my love of history and just sightseeing and nature and all of that. So um, I hope I'm planting the seeds for my children to be adventurers, you know, but um, of course, anything my husband and I like is like really boring to them. You know, if it's not Roblox, then... So hopefully they enjoy it. Um, I'm sure they'll enjoy the boysenberry cotton candy at the very least. So it's like a boys, I guess Knott's Berry Farm used to have this thing called the boysenberry festival or something along those lines. So it's similar to that where um, they have like boysenberry everything from like pulled pork sliders with boysenberry sauce to boysenberry lemonade. 
Um, my, my daughter does have celiac disease, so we're gonna have to be careful. Um, she can't have a lot of the food because it has gluten, so I'll probably pack her something. She's not really into a lot of, uh, there's this bug that's just like bouncing back and forth. Uh, people of any time period is fascinating. I missed the last bit of that, but I agree, mom. I'm, I think as I get older, I appreciate more and more and more things like, you know, history and just like the people that came before us and what shaped where we are today and things like that. So, um, also thank you to everyone. I see that you gave me a thumbs up. I so appreciate it. Um, you know, if you're watching the playback, if you enjoy this video or if you want to see more content from me, definitely give me a thumbs up. I really love the encouragement. Um, um, <laughs> thank you, Domino. Domino, come here. You stay with me. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come on. She, a dog, one of our neighborhood dogs are probably like walking by. She's always like saying hi. It sounds like mean barking, but it's kind of her way of communicating. Domino, come here. Come here. She's like, nah, I don't want to sit with you today. I'm good. Anyways, what are you guys up to? Um, we're kind of in the height of summer right now. And uh, fortunately, it's been really mellow, uh, cool weather here in Santa Monica. Where I was going to say Santa Monica, but we're in Wa Jesse. Wait just a sec, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot happening. I um I will be able to talk to you guys more candidly in the in like a month from now. Anyways, moving on. Oh, I wanted to talk about my crazy uh, bug bites. So I don't know a mom's life. My mom said yes. I'm a little like all over the place right now. Um, I don't know who that who's watching this if you were here a couple weeks ago but i talked about how i've been getting like these crazy big bug bites and i can't figure out what's biting me um i'm still not sure it's been going on this fall it's been going on a year um i think i've narrowed it down to either mosquitoes and they're like really smart and they hide because I did kill like a giant mosquito recently, but it could have just been that we had the door open and one got in. Um, I have to tell you, I'm pretty good at spotting flies and mosquitoes, and that's the only time I've seen evidence of mosquitoes. So I'm not sure if it's that. I don't think it's spiders, because that's just weird. I don't know what killer spider would be like coming back to bite me repeatedly, because it's been happening to Raleigh and me a lot. Um, especially over the last month. So then I'm like, well, maybe it's fleas, like itty bitty, tiny, tiny fleas that are like barely alive and like need to like bite us every once in a while. I have not seen any evidence of fleas. And usually if there's fleas, I do like, I have white slippers on right now. And my mom knows that fleas will like jump into your white slippers. If you do have fleas and we like growing up, we had cats. So my mom would wear these slippers that we called like her bunny slippers and the fleas would jump into them and she'd just kill them. And that was like, kind of like her flea trap. I know it sounds weird, but you do what you gotta do. Um, so I haven't seen them anywhere and I'm pretty good at spotting them too. Uh, it's definitely not bed bugs because whatever it is, like Raleigh got some uh, bites the other night and it's like it was at different places on her body. And what I, my understanding of bed bugs is first of all, you'll see them. Uh, my mom's like, I've never seen a flea bite like that. It's really big, right? But I think there could be that I'm having an allergic reaction. So depending on like the type of flea, like it, it could be that whatever bug it is, I'm obviously having an allergic reaction. And then that means my daughter's also having the same allergic reaction because hers have been, her reaction's been different. Like hers, when she, yeah, Raleigh, when she, yeah, you're right. She's like, Raleigh too, it'd be strange. So my reaction is they're really big and red and Raleigh's reaction is she kind of gets like a blister where the bug bites her and then it pops. So we're having different reactions but we're both sensitive and have like allergic reaction to things. So we're similar that way. Um, we're also type A blood type. So we share that in common. And my husband and my son are type O and I'm convinced that whatever this is doesn't bite them because 
not interested or maybe they're just not reacting to it. And like what's strange too, why I think it's not a spider is I'm not really seeing like where the bug bit me. So whatever it is, it's like so tiny. I have seen like really tiny spiders. That's the only other thing I've seen. So I'm like, maybe it's some kind of tiny, tiny spider that people aren't really, maybe it's like a new spider, species of spider. It's such a mystery. And honestly, I, if any of you have any clues or have experienced anything similar, I've never experienced anything like this in my life and I just can't figure it out. Like usually when I get bug bites, like I know what it is and I'm out and I'm gonna, and, they're, and like it's on, like it's a war between me and the bug. So I just feel like whatever, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm getting like, just to give you an idea, like, like I got a bite. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yes, gummy worms are gluten free. Like I got, like this is from last week. This is healing, but it was like a lot bigger. So it keeps happening. If you want to get, well, if you want to get gummy worms for your low treat, we can. So my daughter also, um, she has type one diabetes and so she knows that when she's low, she can get candy, apple juice, some sort of sugar. Sometimes if she's really low, it needs to be candy so it can happen. Like so we can get her high right away. Not high, but like back to normal. Uh, I don't know if any of you know anything about this, but um, I've been thinking of making more videos about it, but I don't know, it's been really busy. So if you wanna see more videos about like how I handle type one diabetes, diabetes like with like travel or you know treating a low. I've been thinking about making a video about how to restart her Dexcom because that's kind of tricky and I know when other people make videos, I find it really helpful. Just drop a comment because if there is interest, I would, I would like to share more about that and spread awareness if possible or at least give support to people living with type 1 diabetes. So, so yeah, if again, I'm really open to video suggestions. Like um, one of my viewers, he suggested that I do a video about Domino and how she's a rescue dog and her story. And so I did that and I really enjoyed sharing it. So, um, so yeah, if you guys have things, like if you have questions for me, um, yeah, I'd love to answer your questions. Cause, um, I don't know. Sometimes I, I feel like I'm telling you guys everything, but I realize that if you're not watching every video and, and you haven't been a subscriber for very long, maybe there's a lot of things you don't know about me. So, um, feel free to, you know, put questions in the comments and I will address them as I am able to. I don't get a lot of comments at this point. So, um, I try to respond to every single comment. So anyways, I appreciate whatever feedback or interaction you are interested in. Um, I was going to tell you, speaking of things I don't really know if you guys know about, um, I have this MacBook Pro from 2008 and it has been what I use to produce um, countless videos. Fil I've, done, I've done a few um, short films that I did a lot of editing, not just on that computer. I also, on one of the films, I had a professional editor help me, but like just so much production on this laptop. It's been my like workstation, I guess, for what, 10 years now? Is that right? 12, 12 years? 12 years. Okay. No. Um, what year is it? 2020? <laughs> 12 years, wow. So anyways, I bought it, yeah, I guess we got it. I think it was in 2008, the spring of 2008, it was a refurbished uh, MacBook Pro and it's treat, it's been great, but it's been really on its last leg the past year or so to the point where I can't shut it off. I can't uh, unplug the cable or shut it down. And I had to the other day and now it's just like dead. So. In other news, my my loyal, trusty comrade, my MacBook Pro, um, kicked the bucket this week, I guess. So I am without any kind of computer right now, which is challenging, but um, because there is a new creator app and the YouTube app, I am able to do almost everything on my phone, but there's certain things I can't do on my phone that have to do with this channel. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I don't know if I'm gonna borrow my husband's computer but for those of you that have been like with my channel from the beginning, from time to time, I, men I mentioned this MacBook Pro and 
it is no longer with us. So that is something that um, happened this week that is a challenge for me. The Apple store is closed right now where we are. So I was waiting for them to open back up. I don't really want to order a computer. I don't want to make that big of a purchase without seeing it first and kind of getting to know what, what I'm going to buy and what the options are. So I've been waiting for the Apple store to open up again. Yeah, my mom's like, oh my, yeah, a lot's happening. <laughs> so, um, oh, and it smells like someone's paving a road out there. I smell tar. I wonder what they're doing. Any interest in checking it out? I smell tar. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so like that, like to me, that's such like a significant, huge event and that, and like my, my MacBook Pro has been with me for so many years and means so much to me, but I don't know if I'm talking about it, like people that are newly subscribed are like, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. But um, yes, my trusty, loyal friend, my MacBook Pro is no longer with us. Um, and the, for those of you that know about how to reboot a macbook pro from this era um i have done all the things in fact um i think we were at the ranch and because uh my family has a ranch and a, a, a citrus ranch what oh sorry just one sec yeah what yeah 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 did you not see that before uh sorry my husband's talking about separate thing um but uh so we have a citrus ranch in the foothills of sierra nevadas and we go there from time to time um and because i was traveling with my computer i had to shut it down and of course it died because it's kind of a long story but it does this thing where i can't shut it down it just keeps restarting 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 until it like runs out of battery so when i opened it when we got there i couldn't start it it was totally on like i pressed the power button and nothing happened so i did the control control shift command whatever and then the power button and that worked um so that was like the first warning sign and then that worked like a few times and it, sometimes it would like take a few times to do it if it had died like if i had to unplug it and then like a couple weeks ago I had to unplug it. I don't know why, I can't remember why. Usually I just keep it plugged in on the kitchen table. Um, but I don't know, I had to put it away and unplug it. And I had to, the control, shift, command, power button, whatever the combination is for a force reboot or restart, startup, um, didn't work. So I decided to take out the battery and that worked. So I took it out. Someone says, sounds like you need to reinstall the OS. Perhaps, I actually have, I've actually even, well, my friend Samrod did it, but because he's like my Mac, he's like my Mac guru. He's one of my best friends. I've known him for years and years, uh, longer than the MacBook Pro. And he installed a new hard drive actually. And I don't know if it has to do with like the startup mechanism, and I don't know if this time it just was restarting, restarting, and maybe something kind of burnt up, you know? Uh, I don't really know like how, how bad it is, but the computer was really on its last leg um, anyway. So um, at this point, I don't know if I can even get it started up to be able to reinstall anything, you know? But I did recently, uh, so my friend, my friend Samrod, he did update the um, OS recently, I think it was like in the last couple years, so it has, is this Sierra Nevada? No, I don't, whatever that computer and, and hard drive will allow, it's updated to that point, and that was the most updated this particular Mac could be. I can't run, maybe it was El Capitan, I can't run the newest operating system on this old Mac for various reasons, but um, uh, so, I was actually gonna keep it, so I'm kind of bummed because I use this program called Aperture. I'm totally, like, I hope I'm not like completely boring. A lot of you, I feel like my mom is like, uh, what are you talking about? Sierra Nevada is a beer high. Sierra is a version of, oh, oh, Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada is a place, and I think one of the operating system is Sierra Nevada, and now it's High Sierra. So they have a few, they keep, so it's really cool actually. What Apple does is each of the operating systems is a location in California. So like El Capitan 
is a beach in, in the Santa Barbara area. Sierra Nevada is the mountain range. High Sierras is part, is like the, the higher elevation part of the Sierra Nevada. So it's really special to me, being a lover of all things California, that they keep naming their operating systems for these different like really uh, beautiful spots in California, kind of like an homage to California. But anyway, so yes, I can't remember. It might've been El Capitan actually. But anyways, um, before that it was like big cats, right? I don't know. So much has happened in the last 10 years and I had two kids and a dog and my brain is fried. But anyways, um, so this time I called my friend Samurai because I had done all the things. I had done all the restarts. I had taken out, I had done all the things where you like unplug it, you take out the battery, you press the button. I'd done all the things for 10 seconds. I did all of it. This time nothing happened. I left it unplugged overnight because my friend Samurai thought maybe there was still some, I forget what he called them that needed to like fire off and just die or whatever and rest the computer. So I tried again the next morning, nothing. I think I have to call this because I really wanted to keep this computer, to, like I said, to use the um, editing software, the photography editing software, Aperture. I don't know if you guys have used Aperture, but there's no updates for it, so you can't use it on the newest operating system. So I was just gonna keep this computer as kind of like my hub for editing headshots because I, my husband and I do, our kids, we're, we all, do auditions and things like that here in Los Angeles, and we do all of our own headshots, and I edit them on Aperture, and I love Aperture. So I was gonna keep this computer as like my edit, my photography editing computer. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. So I might take it to my friend Sam Rods and see what we can do, see if we can do anything to it. Like, <sighs> rebuild it, I don't know, but, um, that's where I'm at. So I have no computer. So you get nothing on the screen when you, t so not, it's not that I get nothing on the screen. Like it literally doesn't power up. So it's like completely like just a chunk of metal. Like if you, like even when you do the restart, like the light is supposed to flicker. Uh, it doesn't even flicker. So like absolutely no response. So it's, um, thank you for trying to help by the way. I'm going to go back and read all these comments because how it works is I'm on my cell phone right now. And these comments come up and then they kind of dissipate. So if I don't get them right away, I can't see everything. So I try to read every comment, but I but it's hard and uh, on the cell phone. And usually I have my computer right here so I can like read the comments and write comments and like check the sound and check the framing. So I have no idea what you guys see right now because the framing on my phone is different for some reason. So it's not really like an accurate frame representation. So anyways, so that's happening and I'm doing my best and I'm, oh, but I have a new toy that I don't even know how to use. I got like, I don't know if you want to call it a gimbal or a steady cam. Um, it's a Hoem. Actually, maybe I'll just show it to you guys. I'll show you my dead MacBook Pro and I'll show you my new toy that I'm so excited about. So just hang on. I'll be right back. Just one sec. Okay, and hopefully the Apple store opens soon so I can go get a computer. So here's my beloved MacBook Pro. Rest in peace. I'll try it again. Maybe you guys will give me good luck. I'll try. It's shift control option. That's what it is. I'm gonna hold it down for 10 seconds just in case and then I'm gonna release them all and then I'm gonna wait a few seconds and try. <sighs> try to say a little Hail Mary full of grace. I'm not Catholic, but anything. Just anything, let's do it, okay. And then I'll share with you this steady cam I got. And it wasn't that expensive. You got it, uh, is it refurbished? It was like open, open box? Open box, brand new. Open box, it's gorgeous, I'm so excited. But I'm gonna have to watch some tutorials. I've never used one before and I need to figure out how to mount my phone to it. So it's really cool, it's a steady cam that you can mount a camera or a cell phone to. Um, I don't know if it's compatible, I have the newest, 
Apple phone. What, it's a, the Max, what is it called? Yeah. Uh, uh, iPhone 11 Pro. 11 Pro. Yeah. So I don't know if the cable that it came with can plug into my phone. I'm sure there's an adapter I could get. Yeah, nothing, you guys. So I just held down Shift Control Option at the same time and the power button, and I held it down for a while, just I don't know, just in case for at least 10 seconds, and then I lifted them up at the same time. The first time I did that, I didn't even hold them down for that long, and it worked right away. The second time, it took a few tries, and then the third time is when I had to take the battery out. Try to hold this, hold down the press, and then in a Command R on your MacBook Core. Wait, uh, Command R? I've never tried that before. Wait, you might need to write that again, because I can't. Let me see if I can see the comments if I do this. No, I can't. Wait, viewing options, all messages. Oh, let me do this. Oh, okay, here it is. Okay, hold and press the key combination, Command plus R. So is that Shift if it's a capital R on your Mac keyboard immediately? immediately. Wait, sorry, it disappeared again. Yeah, darn it. I know this is so frustrating. So usually I can see all your comments and read them. So command, do I have to command shift R because, oh, maybe it's just, you're just, something about power button and do I lift them all at the same time? I couldn't read your whole thing, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Um, you have to, oh, here, here. Okay, so I press the power button and then Immediately after, yeah, nothing. It's just, it's just like nothing's happening. So, oh, cool. So what I did, yeah, what I did the other time is I took out um, the battery here. I don't know if you guys can see. So I just took that out completely, and I also like saw some stains. So I'm pretty sure sometime in the last five years i might have accidentally spilled a soda on it so there's that and clearly did not clean the inside well enough so maybe something look at i can see little sticky bits here and so there's there's a good chance it got some damage when that happened and it's been just kind of not working well ever since and it's just now like done um let me go get the cable because it really doesn't work without the cable. Wait a second. I'm, I'm going to go back and read your comments, the person that's helping me with some suggestions for troubleshooting, and I'll let you know when I'm actually able to read your comments like more thoroughly. If what you suggested works, I'll let you know in the comments, but like below the video. But um so thanks for the help, by the way, because I appreciate every little bit. You just never know what might work. So I took the battery pack out, and I'm going to try some different combinations. I'll try the, because I feel like the control option shift power definitely worked um, a few times, but it's not working out. <laughs> I think it's done. I think I think it burnt up, honestly. Something about, some whatever the mechanism is, so you can see there's a green light here, but it doesn't flicker at all. It's supposed to flicker when you reset it, like when you do that combination. But and then some, some people, um, one thing it said, hold down the power button for 10 seconds. But anyways, so this is dead. And I have a new toy that I'm gonna share with you guys. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just time to say goodbye. I'm gonna have to figure out something though. Just see, we have all these computers that we need to like wipe clean of our information in the event that anyone ever like finds them and taps into the, you know what I mean? Like does some kind of part. I don't know what you got. What do you guys do? Oops, what do you guys do when you're, um, this is what I'm opening right now. The iSteady Multi by Hohem. I don't know how to say it, Hohem. Um, uh, it comes in this neat case. Look at this. It's so fancy. And to protect it, it says poem on it. That's cool. I'm really excited about this. It wasn't very, it wasn't too expensive. What was it? $130, Jesse? You got it an open box? 
brand new, but it's been open. It was at 130, 150. Yeah, it really wasn't that expensive for how like, this is like a pretty solid piece of equipment. Like I'm, I'm really very happy with it. It's gonna take me a minute to adjust to like what the, the muscle memory of like using the controls versus using my camera or my cell phone. Cause like, as you know, every new piece of equipment comes with a kind of a learning curve. So like, for example, I took this mount plate off, I snapped it off and now I don't really know how to put it back on, but it comes with that and a couple of these screws. I like the way this is stored in here because you're less likely to lose these because they're in this like neat little foam. Anyways, some people left. My mom's probably like falling asleep. <laughs> She's like, what are you talking about? And then this is cool. It comes with a little stand. So you can, you know, put that on the ground and then set up some sort of tripod situation where it's a step, you know. And then this is the um, cell phone. Oh, hi, mom. She's like, I'm hanging in with all this equipment. This is for your, to mount your cell phone. I think what I'll do is I'll just still use, I don't know if I have a cable that will make it compatible with my cell phone. I'll show you the cables it came with. There are these USB. One goes to, so <clears throat> this is the point where it plugs into the, um, Steady cam, and then one, this is for cameras. So you can see, I think my camera should be, I have a Sony, it's pretty old, but I think it still uses this um, size, I don't know what you call this, cable. And then there's this, and you know, I don't know if that's the cell phone, let's see. I don't know. See, I don't think, yeah, I don't, that's not for, I don't think this is compatible with my cell phone. What? What? What am I looking at? What did you, what is it? Sorry, you guys, just a sec. Oh, cute. She's so cute. Is she a little explorer? How cute is she? My daughter's watching a cute little show. Um, so, oops, sorry guys. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, this won't, I don't think this is compatible with my cell phone, but I'm sure I could get adapters, you know, so I'm sure I could figure that out. Um, or maybe, I don't know, I'll fiddle with it. But anyways, I need to figure out how to mount my cell phone and adjust to using it. So I don't know if I have time to figure out how to use this for the Knott's Berry Farm video this um, Saturday, but I sure would like to use it because I think it would make for a much more enjoyable video if it's not too shaky. And then maybe, Jesse, maybe what I'll do is just do an hour long live video and that's it. So I don't have to worry about the editing and stuff. You know, anyways, so, so that's it. That's what's going on with this new piece of equipment that I'm so excited about. So it's not even that expensive and it'll really improve the quality of any like live walking and talking videos. So, and it's not too heavy, but it's solid. So I think it will be pretty stable. It really feels like a solid piece of equipment. I'm really happy. I'm very happy with this. I mean, we think about the cost of making a film with a steady cam or any shot, just one shot and like hiring the person who carries the rig and or renting a rig and needing someone that's trained to use it. I mean, like as a former filmmaker, and hopefully I'll get back to that at some point, that is just kind of pretty spectacular that I could hold this and shoot something with my cell phone and it stay really steady, like a moving shot. I mean, it's just, it's pretty incredible. Like I always knew technology would take us to some really fun places, but um, it's fun to witness it and get to experiment it with it as a YouTuber. So I'm looking forward to that and using it. I think what I'll do is I'll just look for some good videos that some good tutorials on like how to, you know, mount your camera or your cell phone with this thing. I'm so excited. So that's that. And I don't know what's going on for you guys today. I'll probably wrap this video up. I usually make them about an hour. So thank you, you guys, for coming by. Thank you for watching the playback, everyone that did that, and um, kind of being patient with me as I make live videos versus like 
produced content as I'm like going through a lot and I just editing, I love it so much, but it does take a, a good amount of my week. So right now, just for certain personal, personal reasons, I really am putting my produced content on hold. I'm guessing it'll pick up again either next week or the week after is my goal. Um, I don't know yet. I have one video I want to make about downtown Disney because I shot a bunch of gorgeous footage while I was there making my live video. Um, but again, I haven't even looked at it. Now I don't have a computer and I manage all my, um, all my files, all my video files on my computer. So I'm kind of a little bit, I'm, a, I'm at a handicap right now that I can't use my MacBook Pro to do the kind of, um, media management that I need to do to stay on top of my produce videos. So that's that. And I'm just having fun, like getting out into these open air malls that are still open here in Los Angeles and Orange County. So um, I'm just so thankful. There are fun things that we can do, not only as a family, but like to, to bring you guys really fun, dynamic content my mom's like yay fun yeah and we're gonna have so much fun this weekend mom that's kind of why i want to make a produced video because i like one of my favorite videos of the recent of i guess the last three months is our knott's berry farm video that was so much fun when we went to knott's berry farm for mother's day and i would love to bring more videos like that that are fun and we're getting out and I mean we're always staying safe and being socially aware but i think it's so important to still um, you know, have those moments that lift your spirits because this is just, it's just like a very strange and challenging time, I think, for so many people. So, um, you know, if for some reason you don't feel safe, you can also kind of watch. I know I've really enjoyed watching other vloggers get out. I'm really having fun watching like Adam the Woo. He's um, vlogging at like from all the parks in Florida all the different parks and it's like so much fun to watch his videos it's very surreal how empty a lot of the parks are I just I keep joking with my husband I'm like let's just road trip to Florida uh, we're not quite in the place where we want to get on a plane just because of the recirculated air but I totally drive and I mean to see those parks and get to go on ride after ride without any line it's just like wow it's it's a little bit strange and eerie, but it's also like, what a cool thing, you know? So i um, a little jealous of him and other people in F Florida. I also like watching Super Enthused. I don't know if you guys have seen her. I think she's just got such a great energy. I love her videos. And yeah, so I don't know. I just want to bring you guys fun content, like the kind of content I like watching. And um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And I don't know, I've just... Thank you again. I do this every Thursday at 1.30, so um, just feel free to come by, say hi. Like uh, Zach is one of my new subscribers and I so appreciate him coming by like repeat like a couple times this week, even if it's just like say hi and what's up, um, super cool. So yeah, that's what's up, hi. Um, thanks for coming by and um, if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe and I'll just keep bringing you like fun California um, videos full of sparkle and good vibes and yeah that's it that's really it so um, hopefully I get a new computer soon and I get back to editing. There's also another project that I'm gonna submit to. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It's called Life in a Day. Uh, YouTube is doing it with Ridley Scott and I'm like, I don't know that I really have the time to submit to this project, but um, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do it. So people are filming their day on July 25th and I hope you don't, oh, that I don't submit. Yeah, I've been like, I've been on the fence about it. I was thinking I would submit um, my daughter's birthday is happening, so we're, we're going to be at home doing her birthday, and she has type 1 diabetes, so I thought it would make for like a really compelling story and segment. Uh, but then another part of me, I don't love that I feel they're curating um, just like one perspective on what's happening right now. Like I think they want they want they want a multi ethnic pool and diversity however I think you said I'm sorry to hear that I think that what they want is 
like a quarantine video versus like, I don't think they would want me to submit that we're going to uh, Knott's Berry Farm, for example, on Saturday. So I get that it is one perspective that they are promoting. So for that reason, I am hesitant to submit. But then on another level, I'm like, it'd be really nice to get the exposure as a filmmaker. So it's like a really tricky decision for me. And I've, anyways, I, I haven't decided yet. So yeah, that's where I'm at. It's, it's hard navigating a career in entertainment um, and trying to figure out, you know, what you want to put out there. So it's always, that's always been a challenge for me, especially on YouTube. Um, for a long time because I've been on YouTube since 2009 so for a long time there was a period of time where I didn't really see Content on YouTube that I wanted to emulate and so I was kind of like on the fence about what to make and those years my channel kind of atrophied I guess and um, Right now there's all these youtubers that I'm really enjoying watching their content a lot and so I'm energized by this idea that there's content that I actually like watching and would emulate. Uh, you like the Popeye's chicken sandwich? I am not, I don't, did we have Popeye's in California? I feel like that's, is there Popeye's? Cause I didn't grow up going to Popeye's. So I don't really eat Popeye's. Um, uh, right now there's actually a local place that we love their chicken sandwich. What's that, Night Market? Is that where all those, it's like a oh, pop-up? Oh, it's called the Colony. The Colony Kitchen? Yeah, there's this place here in Los Angeles. It's called Hot, uh, it's called uh, Now Main this person's Chick. just being it's silly. Main, what? Main Chick is the name. Main Chick? There is this, if you're in Los Angeles, West Los Angeles specifically, there is this place called Main Chick and it's at the Colony. The Colony? Anyways, it's one of those communal kitchens where you go and there's all these different kitchens Oh, okay, it's really like, it's really good. Yeah, I figured you were kidding when you are like with a spoon. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm not personally a fan of chick I, like chicken sandwiches, but this place I'm telling you about, Main Chick, my God, this chicken like melts in your mouth. It is so good. And then, when, speaking of chicken, when we were in Tennessee, we went to Hot Chicken, Something's, something hot chicken that's really famous. And that was pretty good, I had to say. And we got the iced tea. Yes, the sweet tea. I don't have any Gatorade. Wait, what? My son's, you wanna say hi? No. No. My son's eight. He used to be really into YouTube, like my daughter, but now. I'm not eight yet. What? Like, I'm not eight yet. Okay, I said almost in August. Anyway, so, um, something hot chicken. What's that hot chicken place we went to in Nashville? Uh, it's called Hattie B's. Hattie B's. So, and it's in one of my videos. Maybe I'll set, put a, I, so this is what I do, you guys. I make these videos super casual, just so I have a way in real time to like talk to all of you. And, okay, I'm about to end this. It's, it's almost over, okay? Well, can you wait just like 30? Let me say goodbye and then, cause it's gonna be too loud. So you either have to pause yeah. it. Sorry, Raleigh, just a minute. Uh, oh, thank you. This is actually Eski. It's a, it's, um, I didn't see the first comment, but I just saw your other one that my hat is cool. This is a surfer brand and we got, my, my husband gave this to me for my birthday years ago now. Um, he got it on the pier in Malibu and we, we saw this hat and both really liked it. So thank you, I love this hat. I have to say at the time, I didn't think anything about it saying local and now I'm a little bit self-conscious. I don't wanna like try to alienate people like, oh, I'm a local Californian versus someone that's a transplant, but it is a surf brand for people that know it's not. If anything, I think it's probably Hawaiian because like in Hawaii, it's like the locals, there's like a distinguish, like people distinguish between like tourists and the locals. So I feel like it might derive from that, like the surf, surf Oh, okay. I don't know what that hashtag is, but um, carry on. So, um, what was I talking about with Hattie B's, hot chicken? I don't know. But, uh, oh, how I do these videos. So, I, um, I make these videos and then, 
someone's life. As long as you guys are having fun, making, cracking jokes, go for it. Just try to keep it appropriate. Um, you know. Uh, so I, in the playback, what I do is I, um, I put chapters in. It's a Southern thing. Okay, right on. Um, yeah, I'm not, again, I'm from California, so I'm, I'm realizing that I'm very Californian, and that's, especially right now during this quarantine, I think um, I'm very much in touch with my, like, cowgirl roots because I'm, I'm not, I'm going to stay safe, but I'm also not going to stay in my home, like, shuddering in fear. Um, oh, no worries, no worries. Um, so, anyways. I digress, and I'm about to go off on a tangent about all this, but whatever. I'm going to rise above the chatter. Um, I'm not talking about your comments. I'm talking about, like, how quarantines make, made us all insane, and I'm kind of done talking about it, so I'm not going to talk about it. Um, but I was going to say that I put chapters in, so for anyone watching the playback, you can just, <laughs> right on, you can just, like, click on whatever part of the conversation you want to watch. And then also, um, I do like if I'm discussing a video I made or a video that like maybe you've never seen because it's from like 10 years ago, I'll put like suggestion links. So you can be like, wait, what, when did she go to Hattie B's? And I'll put that like video where we traveled to Tennessee. So you can like check it out if you're interested. So that's what I do after these videos. It usually takes me one to two days because this has, this is on my phone and it has to, um, you know, process. And that usually takes about 24 hours because, you know, and that's my process. And that's how I do these live videos. I, I try to make it as easy and accessible to all of you. Um, I really appreciate you guys for coming by and hanging out and hopefully we can do it again. And yeah, um, I thank you for your patience again, because usually I produce a video every Tuesday that's edited. Thank you for subscribing, I appreciate it. Every little bit of encouragement really helps because I do pour a lot of my heart into this and so um, I don't make any money. Uh, I hope to make money making either these videos or filmmaking at some point, but for now, um, I'm doing this because it's a passion and so I appreciate you. Uh, I can't figure out is supposed to mean. Yeah, so I'll have to look up the Urban Dictionary for some of this stuff and I'll laugh alongside you guys. Um, I do, when the quarantine's not happening, I do stand up so I can, you know, handle jokes and whatnot. Uh, but again, YouTube I found isn't really a place that um, comedy works as the, in the way that it works when you're live. So, um, so anyways, those are like separate parts of my life. Uh, yeah, so thanks again for coming by and hope to see you guys soon and thank you again for watching and liking and subscribing and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.